What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day. And don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com. Get yourself some samples, get yourself some MIDI, get yourself some one shots and take your productions to the next level. Also, don't forget to follow us on Spotify, the Spicy Sundays podcast, the number one premier podcast in the producer space, in any space, in outer space, in inner space. Now, today I'm going to be going over um, a concept that is um just to kind of help uh kind of help the tribe out i know that there is a lot of folks recently who have uh, purchased the npc live uh live 2 and um just people getting into npc in general and if you've never used an npc the language of sequence track and uh program if you don't understand that right away you're going to have a problem and I think that the easiest way to kind of relay that information to you, because you're looking at it, you're like, this is not NPC. This is this is Studio One. What are you doing? Um, the the easiest way to relay this information to you is to look at it um, how you're used to seeing these these terms right in a doll. So if we look at the NPC plugin or if, or if we look at the the NPC uh, software, right, Um We'll start to make sense of this. So if you're looking at your controller, you know that on your main window, this is what you see. You see sequence, you see track, and you see program, right? And and the software is similar. You know, you can go in, uh, you can go in and change the sequence, the tracks, and the programs um, as such. Now, what you want to be able to do is, if you've been using a linear DAW this whole time, you want to be able to connect um, images in your mind that when you see these words it makes sense and once you forge that connection it, trust me everything will be easy so let's do it right now what is a sequence all a sequence is this is all a sequence is a sequence is a container right and the parameter of this container is bars right so if you want to make you know a 14 bar loop or whatever if you want to make a four bar loop you want to make an eight bar loop that's what a sequence is right it's 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 a container of however many bars you want it to be now if something is a container it has to hold things so what is it going to hold a container I'm, I'm sorry a sequence is going to hold tracks right we're going to get to programs in a second. So how does that, so, so, so what does that mean? Right. In a, in, 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 in a visual sense, right? Well, if we look at it, if we look at it, uh, with say the, uh, the arranger track does a good job of, of exemplifying this, right? All right. This hook would be one sequence, right? This hook two would be another sequence v1 would be another sequence right and then you see as you you know as you look across as you look across the axis the sequences are populated with what by tracks right so let's let, let's let's isolate it so that we can so that we can really dig in boom so when you look at it like this this is this is your sequence and then here are your tracks right pop 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 whatever you want to however many tracks you want to put in your sequence that's fine so when when you kind of stress yourself out and you're like oh i don't know how i'm going to arrange on this thing like i don't know how to turn a loop into more than one song like yes you do you absolutely do because you've been doing it like this forever the only difference is 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 the uh, is the naming of it so when you when you think of a sequence what i want you to what i want you to see in your mind is this right here because this is what you're used to looking at here's here's your 808 here's your drums here's your sample boom you got it right now the the next the a, a track you should do a, a track is a track a track is the same and everything right now the next thing that you want to that you want to wrap your mind around is the concept of programs and all i and i don't know why 
uh why you know why they chose to stuck with uh, stick with the, with this name um because this is this is an old 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 name um but programs all the all the program is is a program is the type of is the type of it, it corresponds with the type of track that you're using right so if so you have you have a few different types of programs you have a drum program which uh, which all the drum program is individual samples being assigned to your pads right so that's that's what a drum program is it doesn't necessarily mean that a drum pro or, or that or that a drum program is going to always have drums on it right that the the, the pro the uh the drum program doesn't care what samples you put on it that's just how they name it second kind of the second kind of program that you can that you can have an mpc is going to be is going to be a key group right and what a key group is is you you know you take a sample or two and it'll and and it'll spread it across the keyboard right that's you know that's that's what a key group is Next you have next you have a plugin uh type track, which is, you know, you can use a VST with this. Boom. The next type of track that you have is a MIDI track. A MIDI track is going to be used to control um an external instrument. Then you have uh then you have clips. Uh honestly, I don't use clips. Really don't know that much about them. And then you have you have a CV track, which which CV or control voltage is used on some MPCs to be able to control different parameters on outboard effects, um, such as like Chase Bliss uh, guitar pedals um, and uh, like Euro rack modular synths, things like that. Right. Um, and that's pretty much it. Now, if you're just in that, if you're just making, you know, if you're just making L Slappenstein's all day and all night the primary the primarily you're just going to work with um drum track uh, I'm, I'm sorry um drum programs key group programs and plugin programs and just and just concern yourself with that and uh, super simple like my workflow for, for for making a track is i start out as i start out with one track on a drum program i load a sample in i chop the sample I convert it. I convert it to a new program. Track one has my sample on it. Track two, um, I open up. You know, I'll, I'll start here, and then and then I'll get another. I'll get another drum program going. This is where my drum goes. And then track three, um, I'll go ahead and open up, and then I'll I'll get a. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll get a key group going. I'll load up an 808. Go into go into pad perform. And then and then write an 808 pattern, you know, simple, easy, straight and to the point. So, um, yeah. Sequences, tracks, programs. If you guys have any questions, leave me a comment. But again, what I want you guys to do is when you think of sequence, right? This is going to make everything come into play. When you think of sequence, I want you to think of a row of tracks, right? Do, 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 do a column of tracks. When you think of a track, just think of a track how you normally would think of it in a linear sequencer, right? And when you think of a program, I just want you to think about your your uh I just want you to think about your plugins, right? You can either you can either load up you can either load up your drum sampler so you could load up a drum program as battery, right? You can either load a battery or impact, or you could load up you could load up a VST, right? Or you could or you could load up a key group, which would be something like Tal, where you could you know where you could trigger one shots, and that's what that's all about. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, Studio One Tutorials dot com. You guys keep it simple, do not be basic, and we'll see you on the next one.